Hey everybody, welcome back to Mrs. Wizard's Way. And I have lived an entire year nonstop with the wizard. How, how have I survived? So it's true. Wizard and I have been together for 20 years. Well, 21 and a half now, counting when we dated and you know, it's been six months since our anniversary. But for this past year, we have been together pretty much nonstop. How are we both still alive? Well, let me share with you. Really, we don't spend every second together because obviously you don't see him now. Now, this is kind of how our typical day has been and it took a little bit of time to kind of set a new routine. I usually get up a little bit before him. I like to work out in the morning before the day gets crazy. Go hop on the elliptical for a while. Wizard sleeps in and well, 30 more minutes, I guess. But then we kind of get our day going, you know, have breakfast. Uh, he goes off to the shop and I usually stay here because there's stuff to keep up with at, you know, at the house. And so, okay, we start our day together. Normally when I was teaching, Nope, I'd get out of bed at 5.30 in the morning. He would not be getting up for another hour and a half. Usually, yeah, yeah, it was pretty bad because I had to drive in. So it's kind of nice being able to see him in the morning, I actually have a cup of coffee together. So he goes off to the shop, gets things going over there. I tend to, you know, things here, uh, maybe on the house or uh, keeping up with the channel, answering emails. Uh, setting up, you know, editing, <laughs> getting things ready for that. That's what my typical day, at least my morning looks like. So if there, anyone ever says, do you have time to meet? I'm like, yep, it's always in the morning because you don't want to go too early to the shop. They need to get things figured out and they need to wake up a little bit. And then usually what we do after lunch, I usually meet up at the shop. Wizard does his thing, you know, we're still kind of doing our own separate things, but then in the little parts, but then I go to the shop and either we'll film or I'll have to do some paperwork because I'm our bookkeeper. Sometimes it's, I'm just working in the back in my part work studio. And that's kind of fun because I'll go back there and I'll be working and Wizard will swing around and he'll be like, hey, what you working on? And I'll talk to him or maybe I'll come back from my little cave in the back and I'll ask him, it's like, hey, I need help with something here. Or I have to go and get a bolt or a nut or something like that from one of the bolt bins. So I'm walking around the shop pretty often. And so we check in with each other. And there's times where I kind of maybe need his guidance because there's a lot of parts I, I know what they are and I, I you have see them, and but I've never really dealt with them. Uh, or maybe I don't know what's the best method to attack this, you know, metal because I've not worked with that one yet. Uh, so he helps me out quite a bit. And I think it's kind of fun. He likes to have the break from always just working on broken cars. Let's take some broken parts and make something cool with them. So that's kind of the routine we have. I typically don't stay until the shop closes. That's not the way I usually kind of hang out there a couple of hours. And then I usually head home, maybe get some editing done, try and get supper on the table. It's, it's different cooking for the two of us because before we always had kids and we were cooking for multiple people. But now that the kids have moved out, it's just the two of us and well, the cats, the cats don't even like very much to give us table scraps. I mean, we try and give them something, you know, like the other day we tried to give Daisy some fish. She's a cat, she's supposed to like it. No, she, she thumbed her nose up at it. Give her some corn, Daisy loves corn. I don't know. But nonetheless, so that's been kind of figuring out, trying to cook for two. This empty nest thing is kind of different for us, but we're loving it. So typically when I was teaching, I wouldn't see him until he would get home. So I would never see him all day long until after five o'clock when he'd get home. Now I can see him periodically through the day. When I was teaching, he might send a quick text you know, or maybe I would call over at lunch if there was something going on. But a lot of times, you know, we were, we respected each other's work to get done. Now, hey, he'll text something or maybe he'll give me a quick call or so I'll send a picture of the cats doing something silly. But typically when I would see him at five o'clock, we're eating supper and I'd ask him, it's like, so dear, how was your day? <laughs> it's like, I can't really ask that anymore because I was in much of his day. So that's been kind of fun. Although I do ask him, it's like, hey, what was what, anything going on before I got here? Hey, anything crazy happened after I left? So we do keep up uh, with what's happening here and there. And then in the evening, so we're still seeing a lot of each other. I usually hang out. A lot of times we're, we'll watch maybe a movie. Uh, 
we love nature shows. David Attenborough is just fabulous. Love watching his stuff. But that's kind of our routine. Uh, we've even, on weekends, we usually go and do something together. That doesn't mean we're spending every second of the day together. We respect our, each other. We respect what each other does. And we each, we each kind of have kind of unwritten roles and what we do. Uh, I leave him the yard. If, if it's going to get mowed, he usually does. I mean, not that I can't and I haven't. It's just that's kind of his domain is to do the yard. I cook supper because I don't know if you want to eat what he would fix. I uh, know <laughs> he's great at spaghetti. He's really good at spaghetti. His grandma had a great recipe. He does dirty dishes. I do the clean dishes. So that's just the way we work it. Uh, we don't have, one nice thing we have is we have a Roomba, so we do not need to vacuum very often. She takes care of that role for us because with two cats, long hair cats, they like to shed. So Roomba keeps busy. I, I think a lot of people would be like, oh, I need to get away from my spouse. I just can't handle this. I just can't live with them any, any longer than I have to. And that's not where we are. Wizard and I have some goals. We have some dreams that we want to do. Like we, hey, we have some vision of where we want this to be. Do we know where we're going exactly? No, we don't know where this ch these channels are going. Because as a kid, you know, when we were kids, there was never an option. It's like, hey, what do you want to be when you grow up? And you're like, ah, oh, be a YouTuber. That was never an option. <laughs> that was, if you wanted to be somebody that made lots of money, you either had to be a athlete or an actor. That was about it. Or hit the lottery. Those were about the only options we had when we were kids. And so being a YouTuber, somebody that could actually quit a college degree job teaching to become a YouTuber was just totally not even heard of. We joke about things like that a lot. We'll be, we'll be sitting somewhere like on the front porch last night. It's like, did you ever think that we'd be doing this? No, no, never thought. And so we're quite happy. We're quite blessed. We know that. And we definitely are on the same path. So that definitely helps. Another thing we do to keep us sane from spending so much time together is we keep track of the house. We don't let things just pile up. We respect each other in maybe setting the dishes in the sink, not just leaving them all over the house. We put the clothes in the dirty clothes basket. So I, I, I can do laundry once a week. I'm the one who does laundry. Um, that's just keeping things kind of put away. We don't let things just pile up, pile up, pile up. So we feel like we're living in a hoarding situation. No, we respect each other in keeping the house and looking nice. So we have a nice place to come home to and we like that. Another thing we do that keeps us happy and not killing each other is we don't make major huge purchases without letting the other person know. Like cars, <laughs> cars, yeah. We, we, we definitely talk to each other <laughs> before we make those purchases. No, not little bitty things. I order stuff off Amazon frequently. Hey, I ordered some of this or hey, I got some of that. And it always gets shipped to the shop. So I always have to tell them it can't come as a secret because I'm like, hey, um, I'm not always here at the house. And not that we have porch pirates here in old No Muffler Newton, but it can happen. And so I always just have it shipped to the shop. So it's like, hey, uh, dear, uh, you're going to be getting you know, this in the mail this week. Or hey, you're going to watch out for some of these. And so we make sure, well, <laughs> I let them know what I bought. Nothing too crazy. Another thing we do, and you would think, gosh, on the weekends, what do you do then? How, don't, you know, a lot of times people go on dates. Well, we still do. We still go out to eat. We like to go someplace. Usually on Saturdays, we like to go somewhere and just go out to dinner, maybe do some light shopping. You say, hey, do we need anything this week? Because we now that we don't need to go to Wichita every day, I'm not teaching in Wichita, I can go a whole week without having left the city of Newton. And so there's times it's like, there's things that you might need that old little Newton, it's Walmart, doesn't have. And so, and I don't want to wait for Amazon. So I, we do need to run to Wichita, which is nice because I like some different restaurants. There's Newton has a great uh, Italian and a Mexican restaurant and a little great pizza place. But if I want something a little bit fancier, we would head over and do a quick road trip, which is fun because it's 30 miles on the highway, going highway speeds and 30 miles back. So it's, that's a fun trip for us as well. So that's what we're doing. We, we, we're enjoying life. We respect each other. That's the biggest thing. So how do you spend every single day for an entire year with your spouse without much break? <laughs> uh, 
just be nice to them. We joke, we laugh, we have silly, we have um, running jokes <laughs> that have gone on for quite some time. We have silly phrases and silly words that we use that we've kept going from our kids. One of which I can think of is something is disgusting. When our kids were little, they couldn't say disgusting, so there was disgusting, so we have that. And so if something's really bad, we'll use that term. There's others that we'll use, so that's kind of where we are. So, short video this week. I'm sorry I didn't put one out last week. It was just insane. I just can't keep up with everything. I'll give you a hint. The wizard and I are going on a vacation, and so I've been trying to keep up with videos. So, keeping up with his video load is a lot harder than keeping up with my one a week video load. So, something gave, and I decided it's going to be my video. So, I hope you've enjoyed living with the wizard for a year. I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.